Hello, this is Mike Williamson again with Collide Point Geographics. This is our second video on ArcGIS Pro. The first video covers more of the very, very basics going over a blank project. This is going to dive right into it and we're going to open up a previously imported MXD that I had imported into ArcGIS Pro. And so when I open it up, you'll actually see uh, things that are very similar to uh, ArcMap. Uh, so it's a very similar field. This is actually based on the local government information model. So you'll see some data that looks very similar to ArcMap. You can pan around, zoom around with the Navigate tool. You can identify without switching tools, which is uh, pretty nice. So you can see the database in there and the data that's associated with that. If I go into Insert, and I'm going to insert a new layout because there's not a layout by default in your project. So I'm going to choose the letter Landscape Layout and it adds it to the project and then you have to actually add the map frame. And it's important to know this is they talk in terms of map frames and not data frames because your project can technically not have a map. The map frame that gets inserted in there is uh, movable and changeable. You can kind of resize it and shrink it around. Navigation tools are by default based on the page and not the data frame itself. Again, because it's a map frame, not a data frame. You actually have to select activate based on the map frame that you want to use. Then you can zoom in and zoom out and pan around within that one map frame, but only if that gray bar is there and you've activated that map frame. I'm going to go up to insert and I'm going to add another layout. Let's add a portrait layout this time. You can have multiple layouts in one project just like you can have multiple map views. If I add a map view to this project, it is not linked by scale or location to the other layout or the map view itself. This is all without having to do anything with absolute scales or relative scales or anything like that. You also have dynamic text if you want to, pictures, north arrows, legends, all that stuff is there. Layouts are based on a map frame, but they're not tied to that map frame. This makes layouts easier. You can experiment for yourself. I'm not going to take time to show you all the nuance here. However, I would like to show you that Importing an ArcMap document is very easy. You just hit Import Map, drill down to that MXD. I'm going to choose a sanitary sewer here, and it imports it. And in a new map frame, you get your, your data. So I can zoom into that. I can see the data. It's the symbolized the same way. There's no problems with the symbolization. I can actually link these two views by going to the View ribbon and hit Link View, and then you see the little lock uh, that those are uh, linked. I'm going to move them over so we see them side by side and then when one moves I, the other one moves as well so I can pan around with one and zoom in with one and the other one is zooming in as well without it having to interact with it. That's a pretty cool feature and actually very helpful when you're looking at quality control for data. One thing that you cannot do is actually drag layers from one map view to the other. That's a little bit of a uh, disappointment. I'm sure it'll probably come out in future releases, but you actually have to right click and copy, then right click and paste the layer, which it does work and that's fine, but it would be really nice if we can drag and drop. My views are still linked. Uh, you see one moves so the other does. So I'm going to go back up to link views and I click that again and dis disassociate it and you can see that chain goes away. Now I'm going to go to the layout and I'm close this view um, and I'm going to add another map view to this particular layout. So I go to map frame, drop down, and go to the sanitary sewer system. Each one of those are there and I can choose the sanitary sewer system. It gets added to the map and it's at a, a default extent. So I'm going to make it a larger size. And uh, let's see, I'm going to zoom in here. I've got to go to the layouts, make that active in order to zoom in. By making the frame active, you are interacting with the data inside that frame and everything else is grayed out. But it's important to know that you have to make things active in order to be able to interact with the data inside there. Otherwise, you're just moving the boxes around. Okay, I need to move on to editing. So I'm going to go back, close these layouts, and um, click on my projects and I see my maps that I've had and you actually see this is where the layouts are as well but I'm going to open back up my sanitary sewer system map so that I can show you editing between the two sets of data. I'll zoom in here a little bit and uh, a little bit more so I can see some manholes and mains in order to edit something. Uh, I'm going to go up to the edit button and click attribute so I can see the attributes tile come up and we select a line here uh, and select 
make it blue and you see the attributes for that line I'm gonna flip over to the other view and select a manhole so now I'm editing that manhole all right and go back to the other one here and actually you can see even if I'm selecting that main I can select the buildings and voila I'm now editing those buildings and contours the same way and Esri has gone to great lengths to make editing process easier um, let's go back and deselect my manhole. I'm actually going to zoom up to a certain area and I'm going to link the views in order so that I can see the same main line on both maps. You can see the main here that needs to be changed. I'm going to hit the edit tab. The modify button, uh, the modify tile opens up. Select this feature, hit vertices, and then I'm able to actually change and modify the feature. You see how the tools move and change as you either select or deselect a feature. And it's actually flipped over to the other map and it's already done. It's already changed without me even having to save anything at all. Now I will save my edits. I hit the pop up and it hits yes. And just for demonstration's sake, I'm actually going to just change an attribute of one. Let me add today's date to this main line here on uh, 02, then it self populates. I'm mean, flip over to the other map without saving anything. You select it and you can see that that data has changed. Uh, so it's a really important thing to know that Esri has made this so easy to edit. It's a kind of a concern. Maybe they've made it actually too easy to edit because uh, even without closing the edit tab, you're saving, you're not really stopping the editing. So it's important to know that really the only way to stop editing is to save the project and then close the project. Of course, that might change because this is just the first version and we'll probably track those changes too. Thanks for watching. Watch more later.